Welcome to the review of the Open Heavens Daily Devotional. It's the 1st of June 2024. I'd say Happy New Month to you. It will be a glorious month for us all in Jesus' name. We're looking at a topic that says, Cry out with an exclamation mark. Cry out. Let's pray and then we'll delve right into it. Our Father, we are grateful for life and for this new and glorious month. We ask Holy Spirit Divine, please teach us yourself. And as we cry out unto you, we believe and we know that you would indeed answer us speedily. In Jesus' name, Amen. You're welcome again. Now our Bible reading is taken from 2 Kings chapter 6. We'll be reading verses 1 to 7. 2 Kings 6, 1-7, and I'll be reading from the New King James Version. And the sons of the prophets said to Elisha, See now the place where we dwell with you is too small for us. Please let us go to Jordan and let every man take a beam from there, and let us make there a place where we may dwell. So he answered, Go. Then one said, Please consent to go with your new with your servants. And he answered, I will go. So he went with them. And when they came to the Jordan, they cut down trees. But as one was cutting down a tree, the iron axe head fell into the water. And he cried out and said, Alas, ma- Master, for it was borrowed. So the man of God said, Where did it fall? And he showed him the place. So he cut off a stick and threw it in there, and he made the iron float. Therefore he said, pick it up for yourself. So he reached out his hand and took it. The Lord blessed the reading and the hearing of his word in Jesus' name. Um, We'll discuss this Bible text shortly, but I'd quickly like to mention our memory verse for today as well, taken from Psalm 34 verse 6, Psalm 34 verse 6, it says, This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Hmm. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Cry out. A father in the Lord, Pastor Enoch Adejai Adebwe, in the devotional today, is telling us that we should cry out. We should cry out because the Lord God Almighty would listen to us and you know and He would answer us when we cry out to Him. And there's several examples of such in the Bible, starting with our Bible text for today. It was a good thing that that man, that young man, cried out to the prophet and said, Alas, for it was borrowed. And then a solution came from the prophet of God, of course, with the help of God, you know, and if he had not cried out what might have happened. I mean, it was borrowed. You know, uh, it would have been a pleasant. It wouldn't have been a pleasant situation. David is another example. I mean, we saw that already in our memory verse. Again, we can see in Psalm 12, Psalm 120, Psalm 120, verse 1. And David said, "In my distress, I cried unto the Lord, and He heard me." You cry unto the Lord, you will hear. Again, Psalm 77, verse 1, the psalmist said, I cried with my voice. So our Father, the Lord is calling something out here. He says, I cried with my voice, not with my heart. And now this is saying, you know, some people, especially the younger generation, would say, I can pray in my heart, right? I can pray in my heart. Uh, the Lord already knows what I'm about to say. He knows everything. While this is true, we see examples in the scriptures that when people cry out and speak out with their voice, the Lord would hear them. As a matter of fact, um, what so, a, a parable comes to mind in Luke 18, you know, verse 1 to 8, Luke 18, verse 1 to 8, where our, our Lord Jesus Christ shared the parable of the widow who went to the unjust judge and kept telling him, avenge me of my adversary. She had to speak out and that was Jesus Christ showing us a pattern of how we need to speak out, how we need to cry out and the Lord will answer. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that as you cry out today concerning any situation uh, in your life that the Lord will hack in onto you and answer you speedily in Jesus' name. Now I must mention that 
we are to cry out to the Almighty God. You know? A lot of people would want to cry out on social media. I want to cry out to people that may not even be able to help you. But you are to cry out to God or call, cry out to people you've identified as representatives of God. I mean, a pastor of a Bible-believing church will be required or such Christians, mature Christians around you. You know, and again, but the one major thing we need to take note of as well is the fact that God, however, would not listen to the cries of sinners. He won't listen to the cries of sinners. You know, David says, you know, David says here in Psalm 34, verse 17, Psalm 34, verse 17, you know, and he says that the righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The righteous cry. So the Lord will listen to the people, to his children who are living according to his will. Now, if you know you're not living right and you know that you can't see the righteousness of Christ is in you, all you need to do is repent of your sins. You repent of your sins and come to the Lord. He is faithful enough to hear your cries. And how do I know this? The Bible says in Psalm 51 verse 17, Psalm 51 verse 17, it says that a broken and contrite heart, this, O oh God, you will not despise. Meaning God will not turn away from a broken and contrite heart, a heart that is seeking forgiveness. And I've heard the Lord shared a story here where he mentioned that when he first came to Lagos in 1969, was told that, oh, this is how we do it here. You have to hire a prayer contractor, apply the pastor you pay to pray for you. And thankfully, he was able to see through that to say, oh, oh the pastor fast and pray for you because you are paying him. I mean, why can't you not just pray for yourself? And are you even sure that this person will be fasting and praying by the way? And these examples we see in the scripture, people crying out to the Lord directly. As I close, Isaiah 59, 1-2, Isaiah 59, 1-2 to says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither is ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. You see, the Lord is willing to hear, is willing to perform that which we are asking. However, the challenge always, like I mentioned earlier, is when there is sin in our lives. And then at that point, because his eyes will not behold iniquity, it will be it, it, it will be difficult, really, you know, for you to then say that you want to cry out unto the Lord when you're living in sin, except if your crying out is for Him to forgive you and you repent, and afterwards then you cry to Him and He will hearken unto you. You don't need to pay anyone to pray for you or to cry out on your behalf. What you need is to cry out to God directly, so long as you have surrendered your life to Jesus Christ and you're living holy. And I assure you that as you call out unto him, as we've seen in the scriptures and as you've seen in the lives of many people as well, he will hack in unto you and he will answer your prayer. So why don't you just come to the Lord Jesus Christ if you have not surrendered your life to him or you probably have and then you, you know, probably walked away into sin again. Come to him and ask him to forgive you your trespasses and to cleanse him you with his blood so indeed he will welcome you and you into his family and whenever you cry out unto him sin would not be a barrier from him that's the almighty god hearing and answering your prayers i'll leave you with this prayer point that says take that matter that has been bothering you to god in prayers now cry to him and he will answer you and i pray in jesus name that you would have testimonies to share with us thank you for listening and God bless you.